Hello, this is Freeze. Some of you may know me from some popular TSG videos defending bases as a clan, 4v30s, teaching popular creators how to PvP, and dying to align at the start of an event. Some of you may know me just from playing the game and being in the community. I was the longest serving emperor of the Blue Seal Empire, the longest reigning top 1 PvPer in single bow, double bow, and bow and swords. I founded most of the techniques and macros used for PvP in this game, and I helped lead my clan in the biggest event in TSG history, a war between two of the biggest and strongest clans in TSG. Those that don't know what the survival game is, it is a sandbox medieval survival multiplayer like Minecraft and Roblox, or another version of Booga Booga. Because of its kingdom feature, teaming up is a big aspect of this game. You make new friends, work together, and build a small community around them. It's relatively simple. Uh, PvP system also makes it fun to play for players of any type of exposure to the game. That is until we came along. I found this game from a friend around early January of last year, when Blue Seal had just released, and it was the highest tier ore at the time. The game was receiving weekly updates when I had first started, and the servers were relatively populated with all sorts of uh, different, different geared up players. There were occasionally hackers, but they weren't nearly as much or powerful as the ones today. The game was being visited by big YouTubers like TankUR and was on track to becoming a really wonderful game. However, somewhere along the line, the devs just got lazy with the updates and progress got slower and slower until it became the crawl that you now see today. Well, updates wasn't the only thing that killed the TSG community. It was arrogant mods that hated and refused to listen to the climbing community and thought that they were the ones who knew best. This behavior all stems from their head admin Tachanka, who hates all clans and looks for any excuse to sabotage them. He uses his power as head admin of the server to ban anyone that he doesn't like or disagrees with, and he especially hates me. Here's some background as to why. Back in March of last year, an owner of an official TSG SMP server, Meme Egg, had his server banned from advertising in Simple Games just for the massive offense of posting a link of the TSG workshop server in his announcements during the Arctic update, urging people to try it out. Apparently, this was a bannable offense with no warning, despite the fact that it wasn't mentioned in any rules and that currently you can visit the workshop on your own, as it is posted right here in the Simple Games group. Tachanka here, being ever so benevolent, decided that permanently blacklisting his server was actually letting him off easy. There was lots of hype within the community about the SMP at the time, and it was shut down the day before its big release. I went to the Simple Game server and raised my problems with Tachanka about his decision to blacklist him, as well as his horrible attitude and treatment of Minimag, and I was met with defensiveness and disrespect from the SG mod community, who called us idiots for not inherently realizing that joining or sharing the TSG workshop server was apparently a blacklistable offense, much less not allowed. This deleted user here used to be an SG mod called Prof, who called me an idiot for disagreeing with him, and got offended when I shot back, telling his colleagues about how I was being disrespectful to mods, when it was him who started in the first place. He would be reprimanded later on only because I was able to call it out and defend myself. This did not stop Tachanka, however, who threatened me to stop talking for 7 hours or I'd be permabanned, and told me to DM him about the issue, in which he demonstrated a complete lack of care for the TSG community or his actions, saying that he wants to appeal to little kids because he believes that they're more likely to be idiots and spend money on the game. He highlights the entire game's business model here, it's just another cash grab like all their other games. They want kids, who they call stupid, to spend their first week or two learning and taking ages to fully grind all the items and rebirths to have only a few or so chances of fighting fully geared, hoping that they will use Robux to reach their end goal faster along the way. Whatever happens after, they, they couldn't care less about. In fact, the better you get at the game, the more they will start to dislike you 
because then you will start to find more bugs, start demanding more quality to the game. You start using these bugs to your advantage, you start making them work more, and there's nothing they hate more than working on their own game. <laughs> In fact, the exact next update after our ban was nothing but the inclusion of a starter pack, and it is the biggest ripoff I've ever seen in my entire life. It costs a hundred Robux, a hundred Robux for this, this thing. I don't even like. You, I mean, you can see it on the screen. It's worthless. It, you can get this in probably ten minutes. Ten minutes of grinding. It's not even. It doesn't even give you the best, uh, tiered backpack. It gives you a steel backpack. It is such a scam, and it pretends that it's a ninety percent discount off of a one thousand Robux offer. To make it actually seem like you're getting a deal. I mean, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. It appears whether you're new or a seasoned veteran, it could pop up mid-fight even uh, when you're in the middle of doing something and it, it just blocks your way. It's almost like having an ad pop up when you're in the middle of playing, like, like you're playing a mobile game or something. The entire company is, is just sellout trash and Tachanka, the head of their stat team, openly admits it. Nevertheless, Due to LT's banning of the server from advertising in simple games, Mimex's SMP server died in two weeks, and Mimex himself eventually left the community shortly after the TSG SMP server workshop link scandal. Now, I was banned from the server for provocation a few weeks later, despite not having broken any rules, because his fragile ego couldn't handle being questioned and corrected. The remaining unblacklisted clans as leaders always came to me for advice on how to avoid his wrath, and he was annoyed that he couldn't find excuses to blacklist them. One day, he realized they were all coming to me, and immediately had me banned, making up the excuse that I wasn't allowed to meddle with other clans, although this was my banned message for some reason. Over the next few months, I would continue to lead my clan, then quit for a period of time, revive my clan, lead it, quit, and repeat. And the server never stopped growing and advancing, which Tachanka wasn't all happy about. He hated that we gave free items to new members. He hated that we trained players and made them strong, organized events and other entertainment, and gave them a sense of community. He wanted control of it all in his server in Simple Games, and he couldn't stand people who left for other servers where he didn't have control over. Our server thrived while his server rotted. That's why he hates me and many others in our server. Apprentice Cyber used to be compassionate and knew right from wrong. He tried to help us to the best of his ability, being the only SG staff team who cared. He would help our members get unblacklisted from the server. Sometimes Tachanka forbade him from unbanning some people no matter how ridiculous the reason, but um, all that's changed by now, not anymore. So he now he full on supports SG and Tachanka. See, and you can see here back then, he used to say that we were a very unique community that was able to balance toxicity with the with making a peaceful community. But now apparently, we are all we are all pedophiles. We all love genocide. We all love uh, sexual assault and that kind of stuff, right? So a couple of months ago, one of our high-ranking members, Tiago, suddenly got banned with no reason or warning. Simple Games initially acted like they didn't know why he was banned. Then when it became clear they couldn't hide it anymore, they just said he was banned for duping. The problem is, Tiago was one of the very few members in the server who didn't even dupe because he was too lazy to do it himself. He would always beg us to give him our duped items, but SG staff didn't care to check. They simply did not care at all. They just wanted to see if they could get away with banning TBE. And Tiago was their first test subject to see if they'd suffer any backlash. They didn't, and so a week later, a reporting system was opened up in Simple Games for people to report all hackers and dupers in the game. And another week later, a massive ban wave happened, banning almost all of the high ranks in TB, as well as a bunch of other TSG players from the Discord community, myself included. Screenshots of people with inventories holding over a million items also got them reported and perma banned. This basically punished everyone who had the infinite bag game pass. You know, the intention that anyone would normally get from any game with the existence of an infinite bag would be that the staff team doesn't actually mind having duped items. 
which is supported by all these screenshots. If you don't want people, if you didn't want people holding millions of items, then make the infinite bag game pass not infinite. Make it hold up to a few hundred thousand items. You know, especially when we are talking about a game that you can't grind much items out of. The max, like, a hundred thousand of any item in this game is considered a lot. I'd understand if it was, if there was like, a, for example, there's Shelly bags in Booga Booga, which holds infinite items. But in Booga Booga, you can farm up to a million items just by AFK macroing in one day. Not this game. In this game, you can barely AFK macro anything. And getting 100k of each item, 100k of each item, like they're very strict with their bag space, first of all. You need to buy a, a ton of rebirths. You need to grind a ton of rebirths for very minimal uh, incremental increases in your bag space. It's why a lot of us um, grind up to a really big achievement of 100 rebirths. Uh, I've done this before. Uh, I've got at least two friends who've done this before. And our inventory still sometimes gets, um, gets clogged up because it is that hard to grind in this game. So to add an infinite bag game pass, it's just to show that you don't care. You don't care about how many items people have, whether or not they're duped, and you're you're basically telling the player base, have at it. Um, you can get all the items in the world. You can hold them. Doesn't you don't have to put them in your alts anymore, and have uh and have overflowed alts. You just put them all in your inventory and have fun. That was the message purported from releasing the infinite bag game pass. You can see here. In the screenshot, Cyber is just lying here. He says uh, undone, specifically stated that he wasn't worried, not that he didn't care. You can see it right here in the screenshot. Undone Builders himself, he says, We're not wiping inventories. The dupe doesn't worry me all that much. There's a reason certain items can't be dropped or duped. He cared about duping in general. He would be working to patch all dupes and not just certain items because he wanted to keep the balancing of the game and to preserve the value of the new ores and items that he releases into the game. I see another screenshot. He says, well then you can keep having fun in public servers while they last duping and eventually it'll naturally fix itself. He's talking to someone who is actively duping. He's condoning. He's not saying you can't do that, you cannot do, um, I'll ban you from the Discord server. He is actively allowing it. And you can see they claim that the only reason they didn't ban us sooner was because they weren't given the rights to. But even if you look back then, they never cared. They were too lazy to ban hackers, dupers, that sort of stuff. You can look back into way back when. Hackers, they almost let the game die multiple times because they didn't want to do anything about the hackers. They, were, they would be asked, it would be given proof of the hackers and everything uh, with the Roblox ID and everything to be able to ban them as soon as they can. They were just too lazy. They said, we don't deal with in-game moderation. They didn't even have an, their own anti-cheat system. It was all from Roblox. They said they admitted it themselves. Um, hackers, hackers would make their businesses selling their hacks um, in Discord servers. The most they would do is ban them from their official Discord server, which almost every single clan owner was banned from at the time, because they, because like I said, uh, Tachanga just hates, just hates all TSG uh, clans. The, to the player base who sat there, sat here for over a year, me and like everyone else, and watched hackers and dupers get away with it, scot free for over a year, and you want to tell us that all of a sudden now that we're doing it, we're gonna get punished. No, it's it's obvious that this is just because they're sick and tired of us and they just want to get rid of us because they didn't want us playing their game anymore. Because, you know, let's not act like Tachanka cares about this game. He doesn't even play it. He's admitted it before. He's never touched this game. He doesn't understand any of the issues in this game. He just is happens to be one of the head uh, admins for this kind of uh, game company, because there's multiple games in this uh, Roblox group. Yeah, he doesn't care about this game. Suddenly, he wants to talk about how he wants to make the TSG experience better by finally banning all the hackers. And meanwhile, 
up to this day, there's still a bunch of hackers flying around because they've given up on, they, they've gotten bored of uh, banning all the hackers because they've already achieved their true goal, which is banning all of us. People are, uh, people are still selling uh, duped items right now. Hackers are still around. The only difference is us, TBE, no longer play the game. Like, are we supposed to believe this guy cares when he has basically hated every single clan leader he's come across so far? Like, who, who do you think cares about this game more? The apathetic head admin or um, someone who has played the game for over two years, grinded all the mojo, uh, sorry, not mojo, I'm thinking about survival, obviously now, uh, grinded all the rebirths and everything, um, has an actual community, has built an actual community off of this game and actively plays it 24-7, uh, or used to play it 24-7. Like, who do you actually think cares more about this game? You know, in fact, the last time they actually tried to make their own anti-cheat, it was in the Trident update, the, sorry, the Atlantic update. And it just, it just ended up banning, like, almost everybody who used the Trident, like, the, the speed buff on the Trident. It banned them for 21 days. Nothing was said about um, whether or not there would be a fix or not until, like, two, two to three, three to four days. And they would, they, they only like release like a ticket in the Discord, um, a channel in the Discord, sorry, that gave you, allowed you to make tickets to request to be unbanned. And the ban was 21 days. People that don't join the Discord community, they, they, they'd rather quit the game at that point. They've just been banned falsely for 21 days. It, it honestly just shows how incompetent this entire staff team is, the dev team, the staff team, everything. Uh, TSG YouTubers also get away with having duped items. I reported um, a YouTuber back then. I knew he'd be safe because he was a YouTuber, but I reported uh, Stump7 just to, so I could see what the staff team's excuse was. Uh, and they just said, oh, they get given free items by fans, so it's fine. Um, I mean, do I actually think stunt duped items? Are? Obviously not. But I do know that almost all the items he received from uh, from his fans is definitely all duped and frankly I don't I don't see a difference between it at all like anyone can just make an alt and dupe and give it to themselves or just ask a friend to do it for them and they can say oh I just took duped items I didn't I didn't dupe them myself yeah if you can't tell I'm just I'm just ranting here at this point there's there was um I was supposed to make this video like two or three months ago already but I just I just got bored of it and I didn't I didn't care anymore because we moved to a different game and we just left it at that, so, you know, the bottom line is, Tachanka doesn't care to check who actually duped or hacked, no, he just, he just wants to ban the people he doesn't like, uh, and Undone Builder is apathetic, and he probably, he probably agrees with his, um, with his, with his ruling, uh, I always wanted to make a really exceptional TSG PvP tutorial, starring well, maybe all the top PvPers of TSG new and old, but as you can see, due to many circumstances, I was, never quite able to do it and now my repeated delaying of the video has meant that I will no longer be able to make such a video anymore but uh, yeah I spent a lot of time playing this community uh, this game it's given me a big community and I want to pay it back we've begun to start working on our own survival game it will be focused on fostering a vibrant clanning community placing our players in a game where they can feel good about spending their time and money in without worrying that they won't be listened to unfortunately we're all beginners, and I especially am a boomer when it comes to anything related to tech, much less game developing and coding. The game will take at least a good two or three years. Anybody watching wishing to help is free to help, but we are not looking to hire or pay anyone at the moment, not until the game actually gains some traction. You know, Simple Games, when they first heard of us uh, thinking of making our own game, they started to they started threatening the copy strike, uh, copyright strike us, which is uh, the funniest shit ever. Like. It's almost like they think they own the rights to the entire survival game genre and also because of the fact that they notoriously use just about every free model, every free model that they can get their hands on. I mean, it's, it's absolutely hilarious how many of their models are copied. They also, to, they also threatened to file a defamation lawsuit over like three lines from our Google Doc brainstorming about our new game. I, I don't know. Uh, I want to make it clear, those that are banned aren't ever getting unbanned. I can't make an alt and continue making content. I've grinded hundreds of reverts on my main and spent lots and lots of robux. Any alts I make will just be con banned. But I love survival type games, so ever since my ban, our clan has moved to a game called Survival Odyssey. It's a game carrying off the old code of Booga Booga, 
and continuing on updates where it left off. And the owner of the game, Zidium, is incredibly active and receptive to the player base. It's a breath of fresh air compared to TSG's staff team. And although, uh, well, this video was, this script was made before it surpassed TSG, so now it has more players than TSG. Let's not forget that TSG has peaked past 500 in the recent past because of all this controversy and has actually been surpassed by Survival Odyssey not so long ago for a number of days. They made the excuse that, oh, you know, it's because of school, but uh, again, it doesn't explain how Survival Odyssey surpassed it. So in this game, hackers and dupers get banned regularly and bugs are fixed super quickly. So uh, even in the same day of reporting, See, I would never dupe in this game because, you know, they make their position on duping very clear from the very beginning and take action on it from the very start, you know, not like TSG's inconsistency with their approaches. There was a lot more I wanted to say, and I was supposed to have made this video a long time ago, but I never got around to doing it because I knew it wasn't going to make that much of an impact on whether or not people would still support or play the game. Anybody who brings this video up with the people in the Simple Games Discord server they, they will just be silenced. The staff team will actively, blatantly lie in order to protect their image. There's nothing you can say that will get them to admit what they did, nor is it worth your time to try. Vote with your feet and switch from the survival game to Survival Odyssey. Our clan, discord.gg slash tde, will give you free god sets and teach you the basics to help you get started and transition you smoothly into the new game so you won't ever have to feel like you have to start all over again. And uh, I, I kind of give up on editing at this point, this video. So I'm just going to show you some screenshots of this this random SG clown mod that was so obsessed with me back then. It was crazy.